This is Joseph Kogan. I'm at Space 2014 on behalf of Becca Hilburn's Art Process Blog, Nata Soup. Keep on trucking. Uh, if you could introduce yourself, Travis. Uh, my name is Travis Horseman, and I'm the writer and creator of Amiculous, a Secret History. Okay. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about Amiculous? Sure. Is this uh, is this the first time it's it's being debuted at a convention? Yes. This is the debut of this uh, what will be a series. Actually, this is the first chapter of what will ultimately be like an, a 180 to 200 page series. Uh, it's set during the fall of Rome, uh, but it takes, uh, I'm going to go through the pitch again with you, yeah, uh, it takes uh, more of a conspiratorial view of what happened, sort of saying, did Rome fall or was it pushed? And our main character is a cloaked figure named Amiculus, who is essentially the pusher. It's sort of, I see it as kind of like a melding of 300 meets V for Vendetta. And I'm working with an Italian artist from Rome, actually, uh, named Named Giancarlo Caracuzzo, and as you can see, he's done some really just phenomenal work on this bright, colored, just excellent, excellent work. And the interesting thing about it is, I've never actually met him personally. We've been working together for almost two years, and I've never met him uh, in person. But we have been great partners on this. He is enthusiastic about the project. He shares my vision. We have great. Uh, we have a, a great communication together and uh, we both uh, desire the highest level of success for this for this project okay and is this your first uh, is this your introduction into writing in a comic book form it is this is the first comic I have ever written uh, it's the first part of like I said uh, a larger series uh, that will ultimately be uh, what I hope is a great epic right and uh, you told me earlier that uh, you had actually never met your artist um, how did you go about establishing that connection with him uh, where you, you were going to be working on a long-form project uh, with him? Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, there's a lot of trust involved, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was one of the big hurdles, but I was introduced to him through a friend, actually over LinkedIn. Okay. And, uh, you know, I visited his site, we talked over email. Um, you know, I am not, you know, it, it's hard to trust someone in person, much less that you've never met. Yeah. But, I mean, he wasn't he is a professional. He's been doing comics for 30 years, oh, wow. comic art for 30 years. Uh, he's done a lot of work for uh, major labels, DC, Marvel, uh, Image. Uh, so that he had that behind him as well. And just the amount of enthusiasm that he had for the idea was really um, encouraging. You know, you could feel it through what he was writing to me. And, uh, Did you know he would be interested in such a comic, or you just assumed because it was part of his heritage that... I didn't assume anything. I just pitched it to him saying, yeah, hey, maybe you'll like this. Yeah. But it turns out he loved it. So that's how our creative relationship began. Okay. And um, can you tell me a little bit about uh, the process you've uh, just doing, like, revisions and sending things back and forth with them? Is it is it much different than... Um, and I realize you said this is your first comic, but is it much different than uh, you, you might do in person? Obviously, you can't meet up at a comic shop, I mean, at a coffee shop, and, and discuss uh, changes that need to be made. Well, yeah, we yeah we discuss and trade uh, I, you know, script ideas, and uh, uh, I send him tons of research material, photos, all sorts of things. Most of these photos that you see are actually based on an actual uh, place in Naples, an actual like the, an actual fortress on an island in the Bay of Naples, uh, and you know, those were traded back and forth. Uh, we did that all online. Uh, we did that, you know. And you know, did all corrections and everything online. It's been an entirely, uh, uh, you know, long distance. Okay. So you um, you would recommend that someone who's considering uh, starting up a project to communicate with uh, potentially reach outside of the, the boundaries of their the local area. Well, I mean, it just worked well for me. I mean, I think that there are lots of I think there's lots of fantastic local talent here in, in the area that you can work with. But yeah. I mean, there's some risks to be taken. Fortunately, you know, it was very lucky that I met him. I think because he uh, um, he is such a trustworthy. He was such a 
trustworthy professional. Yep. So, um, I mean, you can do it however you like. Uh, this, I, like I said, I just think I got lucky my first round. Yeah. yeah. And um, did was he also bringing in his uh, his skills in terms of getting things printed in, into the process, or was that more in your realm? a lot of uh, valuable advice on printing and uh, resolution and, you know, pitching, too, actually, to right. publishers. So, yeah, he was a great asset there, too. Okay. Uh, but his job is, has mostly just been um, drawing the comic and, and trying to promote it, whereas you're more along the lines of, of publishing and obviously the writer. Well, his only job really has been, he's been responding to my script, he's been drawing my script, and I, I have been responsible for the promoting and the publishing and basically everything else for, for sort of guiding the creative team. Yeah. Because I have a letterer, I have a colorist, a uh, graphic designer also that I work with on this. Yeah, sounds like long a, distance, actually. quite a major project. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I mean, that's a great testament that, that you don't necessarily be next need to be next door to somebody to, to get something great um, put out. Yeah. Um, so what, what specifically brought you to space? Um, I mean, obviously, you said you're you're local to the uh, Columbus area, so it, it seems natural that you would um, bring the comic to space. But uh, are you going to be bringing the comic around to to tour on other uh, convention routes? Uh, well, I would like to take it to another uh, another uh, couple of uh, small print shows. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, uh, I'm going to be doing a Kickstarter in June for the first full volume of the series. It's going to be uh, 60 pages. Uh, and it's going to be uh, like the first part of the three part epic, basically. Okay, and where would we be able to find information about that online? And uh, obviously, it's not quite posted yet. But. Uh, the um, information is my website is www.amiculousrealm.com. Okay. And this will be appearing on Kickstarter in June. So uh, you can also check the website for any of those updates as well. Okay. Uh, finally, would you have any advice? I, I realize you said this is your first time at space, but would you have any advice to someone considering coming to space for the first time? They might have a, a professional comic under their belt or maybe just a few minis. Um, I don't know that I have any advice at this point because I haven't actually gone through the whole experience, but maybe, yeah. you know, on Sunday it might be worth asking again. To say. <laughs> um, standing makes you tired. I think that's about the only thing I can say right now. Okay. Well, Thank you, Travis. I hope you have a good space. Thanks a lot.